Hello there, thanks for watching and I appreciate you. This is a video in a series of videos showing you how to make a custom character controller that uses rigid body physics, sim machine cameras, Unity's new input system, and custom player gravity. In the last video, we set up a first person camera and a third person orbit camera, created a camera controller, implemented a method of changing cameras, and showed you how to hide the player while in first person. Today's video is going to be a shorter video where I'll show you how to zoom the camera in and out or in more proper terms, increase and decrease the camera distance. Because we're not actually zooming anything, all we're doing is moving the camera closer and further away from our actual player, right? Okay, let's get started by first adding the input to actually control the zoom of the camera. So in our projects panel, let's go down to input, open up our input actions. In our input actions window, we need to add a new action under our primary action map. So we'll right click, add action. I'm going to call it zoom camera. We're going to change our action type to value. We're going to change the control type to axis. For our first binding, we're going to add our gamepad. For our gamepad, we're going to want our D-pad Y value, which is the up and down on the direction pad. We're going to add another binding for our mouse. This one, we're going to go to our mouse and we want the scroll Y value. Right here we have scroll, we want the Y. And on this one we're actually going to clamp it so that it'll kind of match our D-pads value. So for that I found best on my system that we do a minimum clamp value of negative 4 and a max of positive 4. And that's it, we're going to go ahead and save the asset and close the window. Okay, now we just gotta add the input to our input controller, which right now is humanoid land input. So we'll double click on that script to open it up in our editor. We would open it in our editor. I'll go ahead and type in what we need here. Okay, let's go ahead and review that real quick. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we added a variable. It's a float. It's public. Zoom camera input. We can get it from anywhere. We can only set it locally. Default value is zero. We also create a bool. It's also public called invert scroll. Same thing as before. We can get it anywhere. Only set it locally in this script. And the default value we set to true because I want to invert the scroll wheel and the d-pad. Next, we create our event listeners here. So that whenever we press it, Notice this time we use started and not performed. We don't constantly want to get updates because this isn't like an analog stick or a trigger. This is a scroll wheel. Scroll wheel basically works a lot like a button. Um, so we just want to know when it started to be pressed or when it started to be scrolled. So then we'll adjust that value once. And then as soon as it's canceled, we'll reset that value back to zero. Remember we clamped our scroll wheel to four. So every time we do this, our scroll wheel will set a value of four. And then of course, since we subscribe to the event here, we have to unsubscribe here. So we did that. And then down here, we create our actual function. So every time that gets called, because there's a changed value, zoom camera input is going to equal the value. Okay, now if we go back to Unity. So now that we got the input set up, all we have to do is actually make the camera react to it. Uh, if we play the game, I want to show you this real quick. If we play the game, and I go to the camera's game object and I find our third person camera, which is our current camera. And if we come over to the inspector panel under Sim Machine Virtual Camera, underneath our body, you'll notice we're using the framing transposer. Under framing transposer, you'll see camera distance. And I can just change this number to whatever I want. So all we need to do to zoom this camera, remove this camera in and out, is modify this value. So with that in mind, if we go back to our project panel, underneath scripts, controllers, we have our camera controller script. We'll go ahead and double click that to edit it. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and type in the code we need to make this happen.
Okay, I think I got everything here. Uh, we'll go over this real quick. So up top, we create a serialized field, called a float, called it camera zoom modifier. We set the 32. I also set up some variables here for some minimum camera zoom distance and max camera zoom distance, each for our third person and our orbit camera. So I want different values for each. And then down here, like I pointed out earlier, the the uh, cinema machine framing transposers. We want to make sure we grab both of those for our third person and our orbit camera. And then in our wake function, we go ahead, we fetch those components with these lines here for both the third person and the orbit camera. In the update function, we're checking to see if our input from our zoom camera input is anything but zero. If it's anything but zero, then we're going to go ahead and run our zoom camera function. And lastly, in our zoom camera function, we're checking to see if the active camera is our third person camera. If it is our third person camera, we take our cached framing transposer for our third person camera. We modify the M underscore camera distance and we're going to add it to our input. And all this is doing, this is a if else statement. If our input invert scroll equals true, then our input is going to be just plain old input zoom camera input. Otherwise, we're going to flip it, this negative here. We're going to flip its value to an opposite value. And then once we have that, we're going to divide it by our camera zoom modifier. And then same thing next. Uh, if this if statement comes back false, then we try this else if statement. Active camera equals the orbit camera. Same thing. We take its framing transposer. We're modifying the camera distance. And same if else statement. And then we're dividing it by the same camera zoom modifier. And that's it. So let's go ahead and let's head over to Unity and let's give it a try. Go ahead and play the game. I'll go ahead and maximize this. And you can see when we scroll in, if we head over to our orbit camera, this is our first person camera. We can't scroll on the first person camera. So we cannot zoom in or out. The camera will not move. And then our orbit camera, same thing. We can zoom in and out as far as we like. Now right now, these inputs, they are not clamped. So in theory, we could go to a negative value. We could zoom out infinitely. We increase the camera distance as far as the value will support, basically. Um, so let's go ahead and let's stop the game, and we'll go back in, and we'll clamp those values. Okay, now back to our editor. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to clamp these values. Okay, so we have changed things up a little bit there. So all we're doing is we're taking our camera distance. We're going to change it. We're going to make sure we clamp the value so that's within our min and max camera zoom distance values. Same thing with the orbit camera, but we're using the separate values. So we had to take the actual current camera distance, and we're going to add it to our new input here. And then we're going to make sure that it's not less than that value, and it's not more than that value. So let's save it. Let's head on back over to Unity. Let it compile. We'll play the game. I'm going to click on the third person vert cam over in our hierarchy panel. And let's keep an eye on the actual camera distance here. So our max limit right now is 12. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And you see I cannot go any further than 12. And then our min distance is 0. It will not go negative. And if I go back to our orbit cam and we change our orbit cam here. Again. Let's watch our camera distance. It will not go less than 1. That's correct. And then it will not go more than 36. So that's working. So that's all it takes to set up a basic zoom function or to move the camera in and out from a third person perspective. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, in the next video, I'm not sure what exactly we're going to do just yet. I think we're going to do running and jumping. But we might change that, so we'll see. But at any rate, I hope to see you in the next one. If you're feeling generous, leave a comment down below. I want to read what you're thinking. Let me know if you have any questions or recommendations. I'd also appreciate it very much if you liked the video. And if you're feeling extra, extra generous, it'd blow my mind if you subscribe to the channel. Being new to this and putting these videos together takes a lot of time and effort. Thank you for any and all participation and support. I look forward to continuing this in the next one. See ya.